I, I tell you, this is a story I, I told. I told some of your friends. Maybe I don't know if you remember it. It was almost way out, you know. The story is that again, maybe there was some tzaddikim who didn't know about it, but they took off. I can only tell you about two tzaddikim, two holy rabbis, way out. Now let me just tell you one. The holy Buddha. The Heilige Vene Sosper's grandson of Spiele Mele. He lives in Bruges. It's a town in... It's, it's in between Hungary and Galicia. It's just like, I don't remember exactly. But it's, it's like, it's between Galicia and, and Hungary. So, and he was just way out. I tell you what I call way out. That, you know, in Budapest, it's like, it's like Pigalle in Paris. You know? There are a few streets in Budapest. And I mean, just to give you it, 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 it blew my mind, you know, I, I, maybe it does yours too. Okay, it's like a little cigar in Budapest. Especially after the first world war was on Monday, you know. So the Holy Bushwe, every morning, three o'clock, he would take his horse in a wagon, and they would drive up to Pigal, and he would get it from the wagon and walk around. <coughs> it's a long pipe and smoke. Then he would go like this, ha, 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 ha. And he would say the whole thing, oh, what, what holy souls were walking here like that? Yeah, what holy souls were walking here? Yeah, the imam is what's going on in the world. Yeah. And there were nights when he would stand on certain places, you know, and imam she could smell what was walking before him. He would stand in one place and, and pop his pipe and he would say, ha, 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 you know. Okay, at that time, they began killing Jews, you know. And uh, you and I know the Jews, the Germans were always killing Jews, but still I hate. You know, in the First World War, they were always killing. But most of them mistake, you know, and, and they didn't know. We didn't know they're Jewish and we thought they're Russians, we thought they're spies, you know. Leave it up to them. So they came to the Holy Blue because at that time, you know, Austria, Hungary, and it was the end of the First World War. So they came to the Holy Blue and they told them that in this little village, the Germans or the Austrians, Hungarians, they killed seven Jews. They're very sad about it. So, and there was like 15 people from that village came to talk to him about it. So the Holy Blue says to the people, do me till they close the door. You know, when you tell secrets, you close the door. <coughs> Lock the door, he said. Then he starts puffing his pipe, you know. Like the hole was filled with smoke. You know, it was just, you know, can you look through smoke? You can't, you know, but you know it's there. Yeah, it was absolutely filled with smoke. And then he said to the Eden, Ha oh, ha. Is it you coming to talk to me about seven Eden? Germans killed seven Eden? He says, Do you know? Do you know that they're going to kill millions? But he says, It's too late, it's too late. The gates of heaven are closed. Mm -hmm. Then he says, Rabbi Shalom, I just don't want to be there. The craziest thing happened three days later, he passed away. But now listen to those way out things. So people should have, should have remembered it, right? Every word of him was written down. How come they didn't remember that? They forgot it. There was one, either the one of the 15 people survived Auschwitz. And you know when he remembers that the Rebbe, that the Rebbe told him, 1918 that they'll kill millions. He made his way after Auschwitz to Yerushalayim. He was standing by the holy wall and Mamish, his whole life, Mamish came before his eyes. And suddenly, while he was standing by the holy wall, he said, why didn't I remember what the Rebbe told me? He taught us 15 people the Germans would kill me. Why didn't he go to Yerushalayim right then? But even that was killing. 
передача вообще.